Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for April 18th to the 24th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all of my members for all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you do is click the join button below. If you'd like a personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. You guys can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun represents your soul, your moon represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. So I have read your comments, guys, so I know that you guys wanna be a change to sub a bit, so I am changing up the weeklies today. So if you guys like it this new way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button, let me know in the comments below. All right, let's jump right in. All right, so what's going on with my Gemini's Aransic Love Life for April 18th to the 24th. Give me seven cards for the day today. Give me three cards for the romantic love interest feelings for them. Give me one card for what's blocking them in the romantic love life this week and give me three cards for the overall. Um, show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. I'm just gonna shuffle two and then we're gonna jump in. What's going on with my Gemini's Romantic Love Life for April 18th to the 24th? Give me seven cards for the day today. Give me three cards for their love interest romantic feelings for them. Give me one card of the blockage for the Romantic Love Life and three cards for the overall outcome. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lay these down. One, two, three four, five, six, and seven. Only reason why is because I realized when I was trying to do it the other way, these cards are so big and these are, you know, small, kind of awkward. So let's lay these down first and we'll turn them over as we need them. Okay, blockage overall. And then we see that and then that, that's the overall there. Okay, now let's lay down these cards for the day today. So these are the day-to-day -day ones. And these are the feelings. That's the blockage. And this is the outcome for the overall. Okay. So let's start off with your love interest feelings for you, okay? And the blockage here for this week. All right, so we see, how does this person feel about you? This can be anyone that you turn on this video for, anyone you wanna know about, okay? They feel, if some of you may be married to this person or there's something to do with close to home or there's a sense of stability and stableness, all right? Or this person wants to marry you with the four of wands energy. This person wants to marry you and they do feel like there is potential for passion and there's a flirty energy. They, they do feel this potential passion chemistry with you. And you know what? You make this person happy with the sun card energy. You make them completely happy and they have, have a sense that they're lucky to have you in their life. Okay, what's the blockage for you in your romantic love life this week? It seems to be this potential opportunity for passion, Ace of Wands energy. So now let's go into deeper into the feelings here. So for some of you, we see we got marriage and long-term commitment, and this person has a sense of isolation or separation around that. Or they are hoping that you're single and available so they can marry you. Okay, and then we see, yes, they do love you, and they have the sense that there could be potential new love with you, and they are trying to flirt with you, or they, they feel like they're, they want to send you a message of passion. And then we see... You make them happy, they're lucky to have you, but there is some sense of crossroads because a choice needs to be made here. So if we go through this, they're hoping they are single and available to pursue because they feel that there's a potential love connection here, but they're at a crossroads about this. There's something to do with marriage about this situation and this potential passion, this flirty energy in the sense that you really make them happy. Now the block it seems to be some communication seems to be part of your blockage in a romantic love life this week because of something to do with an opportunity for passion, renewed passion, renewed passion, Ace of Wands energy. Some kind of opportunity here and some lack of communication and having heart to heart conversations here. So if we look at the numbers of this, right? Four is stability and stableness and 
pages obviously are communication. So stability and stableness and communication about happiness. All right. And we see the blockages and opportunity about communication. Okay. So let's keep going here. Now let's go to the day to day. So on the 18th, it looks like you guys are really hopeful here. Hopeful about what? It looks like this is a good day actually because we see there's romantic feelings here. There's something to do with your wishes and your hopes. So really good day for you guys. And then we see on the 19th, a commitment, right? Because that's the Hierophant card energy. That's a marriage. That's a commitment. Traditional values. And there's a letter coming in. A letter, a message, a document, a Facebook message, a text message coming in about marriage, long-term commitment, traditional values here. And then we see on the 20th, the High Priestess card, something secret here or about the soulmate connection. So let's go through it. So they have romantic feelings for you and they're going to text you, you know, Facebook you, something written there about the fact that you're their soulmate connection. There's, there's a wish and a hope and there's hopefulness because of marriage and long-term commitment, traditional values with the Hierophant card energy and something that's secret there with the High Priestess card or you're gaining knowledge of this, okay? So that's 18th, 19th, and 20th. Wow, okay, so far so good. All right, so there's some hope here, wish, commitment, gaining knowledge, okay, about a choice. Okay, so then we see on the 21st, Look at that. You are completely happy on the 21st because there's clarity for you. Before I go any further, I want to use the Lenormand to clarify even further here. All right. What's going to happen for my Gemini's romantic love life for April 18th to 24th? Give me seven cards for that. And three cards for the feelings of their love interest. One card for the blockage and three cards for the overall outcome. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. All right, so we see that we see there's romantic feelings for you guys, and there's a decision, abrupt decision being made. Yep, your wishes are being fulfilled. Here's the wishing well here, because this letter, this message, this text message, this Facebook message is coming into you guys. There we go. It's confirming again. You're gaining clarity here about your wishes and hopes. It's like written in the stars here. You have so much star energy. Okay, let's keep going. They want to take care of you. They want to nurture you. There's some sense of love and abundance here. Yeah, money and finance. Yeah, that definitely goes with the Empress card energy, right? She's like, you know, this potential starting a family and something to do with money and finance involved. And obviously, we're talking about abundance here when you talk about the uh, Empress card. Okay, let's keep going. And there's definitely some sense of healing on this day with the tree card energy on the 22nd. So let's keep going here. So we see on the 23rd, there's some indecisions happening here. And so you're, you're deciding to isolate yourself and separate yourself from the situation. So you can do some deep, heavy soul searching here. And then we see, what's that about? Something to do with a person. Okay. So there's an abrupt decision being made here, a decision's being made here about wishes and hopes. And there's a letter message, text message, Facebook message, which is gonna fulfill your wishes here. There's gonna be a sense of healing and recovery because of something to do with this person. And then we keep going here, you guys. You're getting a message of love here and the sense that, oh my God, this is a true romantic connection. There's really wisdom around this from my life experience. So should I take a risk? Should I roll the die here? on the 24th so again you're getting this message again healing recovery with this person taking a risk we see there's love and abundance and some indecisions about this new path and love this message of love money and finance seems to be affecting romantic love life which gives you a sense of isolation or separation but you're like you know what there's wisdom around this this is a wise choice a wise decision i want to base this on my life experience here when taking this new path in love let's go further with the feelings something to do with a long time this person feels like they want some kind of commitment engage or marriage and they want this opportunity to open up to them the block it seems to be a lot of over analyzing about a potential opportunity of passion and communication and heart to heart communications here okay let's keep going all right so we see the numbers here the, you got a 10 energy, a sense of accomplishment and completion because something is changing here. Two plus seven, eight, nine. Desires for a lot of thinking, contemplating when it comes to change. Two plus nine, 10, 11. Making a choice. Three plus nine, 10, 11. 12, 
12. 1 plus 2 is 3. All right, let me look at my choices and options. Let me come up with a creative solution here. I feel like this person really wants to take care of you here. And I feel like you're having the sense of abundance and love here because there's something healing about that energy. You're fulfilling your desires this week and it's really making you happy because there's a sense, that, you know what, this person is my soulmate connection. There is romantic feelings here and it's bringing you hope here around your situation. You're hearing from this person with this letter, this message, this document. So we see, coming now to the overall, somebody from the past, Six of Cups energy, is making a decision to cut away any unhealthy energies here or you guys are cutting away some things pertaining to the past because we see new path and love here and you're making that choice because there's some things being resolved about an ex here with an ex-partner and then let's go further here you're gonna have some improvements and changes here with the store card energy there's talk and speak of this improvements and changes or wanting to start a family here because we're talking about the stork energy and I see the empress there of how to overcome these delays and challenges. So it's like you're like, all right, maybe I should wait for the right opportunity here. And it's also having a sense that I want to be completely happy here with the Ten of Cups energy. So let's go through this. The overall outcome is saying you're cutting away some unhealthy things here pertaining to the past when it comes to an ex-partner. And you're focused on what makes make you happy with the Ten of Cups energy. This person from the past or something to do with the past is reminiscing about the past. You're making a choice here to wait for the perfect opportunity, wait for the right opportunity. There's improvements happening here and conversations about these improvements are starting a family to overcome these blockages, delays, and challenges. Let's go for one more card here. So it's like, all right, I'm gonna be strategic here with the Fox card energy because I'm not certain here about a person. So we see that here, it's like, should I take a risk? Should I take a gamble here? When it comes to this new path of love, based on my life experiences, from the past experiences, I need to make wise choices and wise decisions. And you see, it's a bit of a cliffhanger here, but I will be releasing the mid-monthlies, okay? So watch out for those. Mid-monthlies will be coming out in another day, actually. So you should definitely get more answers on this. And also, the monthlies are up, currently up right now and available for you guys to check out. I love you guys so much. If you guys like this new way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in another day or two. Have a great rest of your week. Thank you to all my members and I'll see you soon.